This video will show you how to export a file from exam view, import it into Canvas, and then to create a bank. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to File and you're going to choose Export. And you want to choose Blackboard 7.1. And we're going to name it something. I'm going to name it something different so you can see the whole process. I go ahead and control C to copy that because I want to use that name again and hit save and then this you need to do control V and control V you need to have these two things be the same and then you'd click OK. So once you have exported that then you are going to go to uh, Canvas and you're going to hit import. So first we go to settings. Settings is along the left here. Import content into the course. Then we're going to go to select Blackboard 6789. Go ahead and choose your file. Should look like with a zipper. Your export. Click open. And we want to select, we want to create a new bank. And that is going to be um, multiply and simplify square roots and then we collect specific or we want everything and we don't really have any dates associated with it so we're going to hit import and you can see it's running there and once it is done once it is finished then we are going to go to quizzes and that's where we're going to find that quiz. Now we have to work to get to the banks so that we can get this set up here. So we're going to go ahead and click um, quizzes. It'll kick in. And we'll find the quiz. This is how you're going to create quizzes that will give a different set of questions each time. I call them mastery quizzes number in front of it. There it is. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and select that one. I had 23 questions. So I'm going to edit. And this is how you get to the bank. That's really what we want. So we're going to go to questions. And then you can scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to hit find questions. That gets us to the banks. And then we're going to View course banks. Now, this is where you're going to start creating um, your question bank that is that every time they regenerate a new quiz, it will pull from that bank. So you need more questions than you are actually going to assign them, so that the questions will change as they pull new quizzes. So we're going to hit Add Question Bank. I usually use the unit number to help organize and then the specific skill that we are um, that that group of questions fall under. So this particular one is just to simplify uh, square roots and then we'll just hit enter there and so that will give us one of them. So now the other question bank that we need to add is called uh, multiply square roots. And those are the two question banks. Now I'm going to go ahead and go down and find my quiz, which was multiplying and simplifying square roots. So that has the 23 questions. And right here is where it, you can move uh, the question to another bank. So oops. we want, I don't want to keep the question, this question, a copy of it in that same bank. I would like that to be empty. So I'm going to scroll down to six. And that was a multiple, or that was a simplify square roots. And then I'm going to move it. And now it's kind of set up so I just basically can go through and move them. 
you can move more than one, but once you click on one, it moves along pretty quickly. These are all the same. And these are all the questions that fall in that bank. Now, this is a different type. This is uh, multiplying. So when we click this time, we're going to click on move square roots. All right. So now we're going to go back to quizzes. We've now dumped all those questions. So if I have, maybe I have five different skills within uh, one quiz. Well, I'm going to take all of those questions. You need multiple questions. So let's say I want one uh, adding polynomials question. Well, I need at least five probably in the bank so that when it pulls from it, it's going to give a different set each time for every one. So now we're going to go back and pick up our, we're going to, this was the actual quiz. So I want to get rid of all of these questions. So I get rid of all 23 of them. You can either get rid of them or you Okay, so now we are going to add a new question group, and we're going to call this Simplifying Radicals, and I would like, I think I would like to have them do three questions, one point per question, and I'm going to link it to that bank that I created, and so my bank that I created is right here, Simplifying Square Roots. So, so far I have three questions that will regenerate each time. And I'm going to go ahead and create that group. So here's my pick three questions from questions from this particular bank. Now we need to add a new group. We're going to call that multiplying square roots. Oops. Multiplying square roots. We're going to choose two questions. We are going to link to the bank. And this is where having those numbers out front definitely helps the situation. We want multiply square roots. Select that bank. Now we have to hit create group. So now it's picking three questions from this bank, two questions from this bank. We hit save. And now when we preview it, we have five questions. The first three questions are simplifying square roots. And then the next three questions are multi or the next two questions are multiplying. Every time we do that and we draw we'll draw a new set of questions from that bank. So you can create mastery quizzes.